Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. So guys, before you go and say, oh, here he, here he goes again. Uh, another Sal Alvarez video. I am going to upload an Errol Spence, Terence Crawford, which I've actually recorded already, which I'm going to upload tomorrow. Um, but I wanted to do this one. Uh, I'm, tr I'm, yeah, I need to get videos out every day. I'm really get. I'm sorry about this, guys. I know I've become very inactive of late, you know, and um, I'm just trying to be more active on here. But guys, there's some some big news at Canelo. There's th there was talks about him fighting uh, Badu Jack, but there's now there's also talks about him fighting Jamal Charlo. And although the Badu Jack fight is another title, another weight class, I do think the Jamal Charlo fight is a fight that I think Canelo could sell, market, and probably get away with. Now, Jamal has been very inactive, but his career is kind of going nowhere, nowhere really. Um, he's been inactive. He's been out of, the, out of the scene for a very long time. Uh, but the Canelo fight would definitely bring him back to life. Um, and to be honest... Jamal Charlo at this point probably wants that type of fight. I don't think I don't think he's in a position now where he really cares where it's at. What he just wants to fight. Uh, so I personally think that's a perfect fight for Jamal Charlo at this point. I think Jamal Charlo is coming to the end of his career, and I don't know what Jamal Charlo's got left because when you've been that inactive, generally it's never a good sign with fighters. Generally, it doesn't end very well with fighters when they've been that active, and Jamal Charlo has been very very inactive. I mean. I can't even remember the last time he fought. I, I generally can't. Was it Selecki? I, I can't remember. Uh, was it Montiel? I can't even. No, I can't even remember. I can't remember. I generally can't remember who his last fight was, and that that is not good because I mean that's a sign of a very inactive fight. I mean, I mean Spence has been very inactive, um, not been the most active Spence, and it, it feels like Jamal Charlo. I haven't seen him for years. I mean, I don't know how long it's been, and. For a guy, you know, and, and look, we heard stories about Jamal was going through stuff. So I hope he's OK. I hope he's mentally OK. I hope everything's in a, he's in a good position now. Um, but obviously, from a boxing sense, I mean, his career has been on hold. I mean, and it, look, if there was a valid reason, I mean, if there was some health issues or something, I mean, that's more important than boxing. Boxing is a sideshow. Boxing is a is a is a, is not important when it comes to like health and stuff like that i mean boxing is not the kind of sport you want to be taking part in if your health is not 100 percent. if your mental or physical health is not 100 percent, boxing isn't the sport that you want to be taking part in because it could get it could get quite ugly for you so you know i hope jamal charlo is okay i hope now he's if he is going to come back he's he's coming back uh fully refreshed uh and a better jamal charlo which look i don't think you can get a better jamal charlo because I mean, when a guy's at the end of his career, he's getting older and he's been inactive. Um, I remember, I remember when Canelo knocked out Khan, and after that, you know, Khan came back and he looked, he knocked Le Greco out. But in his second fight, you know, after his comeback from, you could clearly see that Khan was a shot fighter, or he was a fighter that had declined massively. And I, and I'm worried for Charlo. That although he didn't get knocked out by anybody, that I'm worried that the inactivity, because inactivity is, yeah, inactivity is never good. I mean, very few fighters are able to come back from inactivity and uh, do well. Generally, it doesn't, inactivity doesn't end too well for a fighter. Only the real, real special fighters like your Tyson Furies, guys like that, that might be able to come back. Uh, I'm not sure Jamal Charlo is that. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think Jamal Charlo might find it difficult you know if i'm honest with you, you might find it difficult to get back uh to where he was uh and what i don't understand is is that jamal charlo has been world champion at middleweight for so long but he hasn't had been able to defend that title and the wbc are defending him i don't quite understand that to be honest i don't understand how the wbc are just allowing jamal charlo to hold uh wbc belt like that you know uh it's surprising because normally they would want sanctioning fees so clearly, obviously, they know something that we we aren't aware of, and they're giving Jamal Charlo every time, all the time he needs to get get back because clearly they'd want that belt defending, you know, they'd want sanctioning fees, etc. So they'd want that belt to be active, and obviously Jamal is not fighting, and he's still uh, he's still holding on to that belt. So yeah, it's a bit confusing that uh, how the WBC have allowed him to hold that belt for so long, you know, but. 
yeah, look, what do you guys think? Canelo fighting Jamal Charlo, do you think that fight happens? Uh, if it does happen, who do you favour? Do you, do you give Jamal a chance in that fight or do you think it's just going to be a whitewash from Canelo? Leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think in, this, in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.